gets his reward. The name and achievements of Sir Malcolm Campbell are still familiar to every schoolboy, as are those of Seagrave, Easton and Cobb. But how many remember Parry Thomas? For over 40 years, his legend's been buried at Pendine Sands, now within the boundaries of a top-secret rocket establishment. Here, he crashed in 1927, trying to beat Sir Malcolm's land speed record. One of the driving chains of his car flew off and killed him. Now, thanks to Mr. Owen Wynne Owen, a lecturer at Bangor Technical College, the huge 450-horsepower car is being exhumed from the grave where it was buried soon after that tragic record attempt. One of the most brilliant and courageous figures of the golden age of speed, Parry Thomas had set the world record at Pendine less than a year before his death. But Campbell had regained it with a speed of just over 174, and this fatal run was Parry Thomas's last attempt to bring the record back to Wales. The condition of Babs, as Thomas called his car, is remarkable after all its years underground. The body panels are badly corroded, but the chassis is still intact. Mr. Owen will restore the car and exhibit it as a memorial to a great Welshman who was once the fastest man on land. You either had to drive nearly 60